Hello, my name is Anne, and today I want to take a look at a ROM for the Sony Xperia E. Um, but this is not an Android, this is Firefox OS um, 1.0 for the Sony Xperia E. Uh, this is experimental, but it has no, but it is no longer uh, supported or developed or give any sort of update by Mozilla or Sony itself. Uh, so I want to take a look at this ROM in particular and um, let's see that uh, what Mozilla has got with their own mobile operating system back in 2013. So uh, first things first, I want to talk to you about um, uh, Firefox OS. I mean it's kind of long um, ago back in 2013 or 12 and it's got a bit of a headline um, but um, fortunately because of its um, poor app support um, or its kind of small um, ecosystem it didn't see and it just got completely overwhelmed by iOS and Android and Windows Phone so uh, let's take a look back uh, have a little reminiscence of Firefox OS on the Sony Xperia E. I mean, Sony was kind of um, uh, serious about Firefox OS uh, by putting it to the Sony phones with their phones. Um, but again, it didn't succeed uh, as you would expect. So, um, there are a lot of things about this ROM, so let's take a look. So, actually, boot really fast. Uh, the first thing that I kind of notice that it boot really fast. And this the uh, unlock sound of it. I mean, it looks pretty alright I mean, to me. I mean, I uh, it's a very simple home screen. It's a clock. There are apps at the left, at the right. Uh, there's no app drawer uh, apparently, but um, it looks a lot like the iOS to me. I mean, it still has uh, dock at the bottom, apps all on the home screen. Um, I mean, kind of simple UI. Uh, I mean, it's nice. Uh, let's take a look at the version that we have. Uh, now, one thing to note that this phone uh, is kind of unable to do make phone calls, do Bluetooth, or any sort of wireless connectivity. Uh, the reason is list is mentioned in the link that I supplied down below as well, so you should check out for the reason. Uh, but let's take a look at the version, and it is version 1.0 pre-release, so the initial version. Um, let's see, we have any Easter eggs? No, nope, alright. Um, we have a couple of IMEI things here. Uh, there's a developer settings. Let's see. Um, not a lot. There is a show for a second. Let's see. Uh, just around 30 to 40 frames per second. Um, at most, maybe 50. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, show frame per second was pretty nice. I mean, not a lot of Android phones have this feature. Even OnePlus 5T, you know. Um, let's take a look. So, uh, we have the phone dialer here. <sighs> kind of unresponsive. Um, the contacts. Of course, I cannot make any phone call here because, again, the no connectivity thing. Seeing this, I gotta be making phone calls. That is the deal breaker of this phone. And it's kind of unresponsive. Uh, I mean, just swipe over like this, I mean, yeah. <sighs> I mean... Uh, let's press the clock, I mean, I uh, just... It's got a message. Um, and this is the keyboard we have. Alright, I mean, uh, see if we can use it on my own home screen. Um, my iPhone, huh? Pretty, pretty accurate. 
Um, usually it's not an accurate you type on the tweet and having screen, but alright, pretty nice. I mean, in fact, I mean, I use my phone, my main phone, like the 5.5 inch screen, and the keyboard is just so damn inaccurate for some reason. Um, let's say that uh, I'm just gonna get, get a little act up somehow, but um, alright. Yeah, let's start with the settings, see what we have. Um, home screen is kind of laggy to me. I mean, very, uh, not much of a settings, Wi Fi, can't even use them. Uh, the sound, um, you change, uh, ringer, alarm. Let's see how many ringers we have. Pretty uh, nice, kind of nice. Um, can't even use back button for this one, unfortunately. Um, you have a display thing and notification, uh, date and time, phone lock, do not track. Hmm. Let's see the passcode lock. I'm going to deal with it. Um, let's create. Uh, let's see. Alright, pretty nice. Um, there's also a camera shortcut. Let me just bring out the camera. See how the camera looks like. So this is the camera we have, pretty nice. Um, uh, all right, not not fast, but definitely usable. Um, call it just like any other camera app on Sony phones. Okay. Um, Um, so we'll see what we have. Uh, check out the gallery. Um, pretty nice. Uh, there's no back button anywhere. I can't even use the back button on my, on the main. Um, and sometimes it just act up like crazy there. Um, it's an FM radio, which is nice. I mean, not... I just I still miss FM radio on most modern era smartphones because somehow reason they just remove it for no goddamn reason. Um, this is the Maps app, I believe. Uh, it's the way to here. Um, kind of crap. Uh, see the marketplace. Okay, you get no connection. Uh, see the calendar. It's the calendar we have. Pretty symbol. Uh, it's in the white background. Um, most calendar app back in 2013, I believe, um, has a black UI when it comes to applications. But this phone is doing a little differently. Um, Uh, there's a cost control here. I mean, I uh, I don't know why this is a this is a data usage, but I mean it's say cost control. But, I mean, uh, kind of they kind of like the way here. Um, it's got the email. I mean, it just took me several tries just to get to an app. I mean, how can I use it? My as my main OS, huh? That would be impossible. Um, it's the music app. Let's see if I need music. It is one. Alright. Um, does anything go ahead and right? 
is that awakened awaken by whatever artist it is I mean it doesn't mention here uh, it's the video app um, it's a little bit I just captured I mean, it kind of, kind of a miracle that that it still kept all of my images that I took in my other ROM. Like even before, it is. I saw this ROM. I took a lot of photos, and when I move here, it's still here, right? It's still in my ROM. I mean, no matter how many ROM I went through, the photos are still here. Pretty impressive, I have to say. Um, it's the internet. Of course, it doesn't work, <laughs> but um. Yeah, kind of for design, I'd say, at least for a browser. Um, yeah, uh, so you can change the wallpaper on this one. Uh, is a bunch. Wow, that bunch of nice wallpaper here. Uh, let's check this one. Right, <laughs> if it is, um, uh, kind of nice. I took it in my gallery. Uh, let's take a look at this one. Yeah, having this nice wallpaper here. Android is the this is the uh, ice cream sandwich wallpaper. Yeah, you get this. Uh, Android feeling on your Mozilla OS or Firefox OS. Um, I mean, the response is actually pretty nice. Um, this is the notification center we have. Um, we have this um, blend, you know, transparency that we have in today's to the modern smartphones. Um, so I'm gonna move this one. No, all right. Uh, you can re can move things. You can re or you can uninstall an application. It's nice. Um, I don't know so if the green bar at the, bar at the top. Uh, let's see. I mean, you can, you can tap on the Wi-Fi buttons to get. You just tap and you get to get into settings. Pretty nice, but. Uh, you don't need to do that. Just tap and hold. I would rather tap and hold or just tap to get the settings. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, that is pretty much the Firefox was at its best. Um, in a nutshell, I think that this is a pretty interesting ROM to, to kind of take a look at. But to use it, but to use it as a main ROM as a daily driver, I think that this is you should skip this. You should use, use uh, things like ROMs like the stock ROM or maybe even CM11. Uh, do not use this ROM unless you are using this phone purposelessly. Yeah, purposelessly. Um, you have like no purpose to use this phone. Just use it for spare, for fun. Uh, you don't put SIM cards in to use it. You don't make phone calls or Wi-Fi. I mean, it would be pretty interesting to... to uh, take a look at this ROM but um, yeah I mean this is five box OS as its best um, I hope you can enjoy this video and um, I would try to give a little more ROM experience video soon um, but this is more of a lesson uh, that brands do, should not make their own OS but should stick to Android because it is more safer much safer uh, there's no risk and you know you could get a lot more reputation uh, than using your own OS like Tizen OS for example but anyway thank you for watching um, if, if you enjoyed this video make sure to make sure you like and subscribe for more videos but thank you and goodbye